Hey guys, welcome to CrossFit Palm Beach. My name is Andrew, I'm one of the owners, and we're here doing our Athlete of the Month profile for October, and we're here with Mike Seminario. That's it, right? That's right. All right, and uh, we're going to learn more about Mike today. So Mike's Mr. Consistency, he has been for the last six months, that's why we picked him for our Athlete of the Month. And um, Mike, first question, when did you start CrossFit, and uh, why did you decide to join CrossFit at the time? Uh, I started in July of 2014, so I guess a little over a year ago. Um, I decided to try it because I wanted to do something more with my training, and I was just working out at home like most people do, finding different workouts here and there on the internet and trying them out for a couple weeks and then getting bored with them and then not working out and then a few weeks later trying it again. And so I wanted something that was more consistently different. And, and that's what I'd heard and read about CrossFit, and so that's why I decided to try it. Cool. And when you first started, what was that experience like? Do you remember anything specific about first starting? Yeah, um, first day, um, I was with Brendan and for a, like an evaluation, and I almost threw up. And, uh, but that's how I knew it didn't. was, you know, I didn't. <laughs> I was very close. But, uh, but that's how I sort of knew that this is what I wanted to do because it was pr finally pushing me to do more. And I never felt that way when I was working out by myself. I never felt like I was pushing myself. Right. And uh, so, you know, I just, I came back, I think I came back the next day and uh, and kept going out. Awesome. And, uh, you know, in the years leading up to it, you mentioned you're working out at home. Growing up, years leading up to it, what were you doing fitness-wise? Did you play sports growing up? No, I was, uh, I didn't really, I mean, as a really small kid, I played like a year of baseball and t-ball, but that's about it. Um, nothing in high school. I wasn't really an athlete. I've never really been an athlete, mm -hmm. so um, this is like the first time I'm actually trying to do anything physically on a regular basis. Yeah. Awesome. Just occasional cool. home stuff. And what, what positive changes have you noticed since you started? I'm tired a lot less uh, consistently. Um, I feel better throughout the day. I feel better about myself. Uh, you know, I like the physical changes that I see in the mirror. Um, and just a lot more confidence in general. Did you, um, have you done any, have you had any weight loss numbers or anything like that that are specific? It, it's hard. It's, I'm not sure precisely because I, I didn't, I made a point not to really track that mm -hmm. starting out. Um, but I know that I've gone, you know, like my clothes have changed size and I've gone down and, um, and I definitely lost fat, like body fat. I can see that, that, that those results, but I'm not sure exactly how many pounds that I've lost mm -hmm. over time. Cool. What are, uh, looking back over the last, the last uh, year and a half, what are some of the big accomplishments that you feel you've done that have really stood out for you that were meaningful? Um, being able to do like pull-ups consistently, um, learning the, the kipping motion and now the butterfly motion is something that I really struggled with for a long time, like probably the first six to eight months of that, of that time. Um, and just a couple months ago, finally getting a double under for the first time, because that was something I was starting to think just was never going to happen. Um, so m overcoming those like sort of milestone goals, at least for me, was really important and made me feel a lot, a lot better about everything. Yeah, I think it's cool the time and effort you put into things like pull-ups and double unders. For double unders, how much time are you putting in for your double unders? Give people an idea of what it takes to really get there. Um, it, it wasn't actually that much time for me. It was just starting to practice more. And for me, it was just paying attention to like sort of precisely what I'm doing, trying to make very controlled changes to figure out what would help me get that, that rhythm a little bit better. And I have to go back to do that again to be able to start getting them consecu consecutively. Um, but it's, it's, I guess for me, it's just like that sort of, uh, Focus, like paying attention to the small things. Right. I think Slowing makes a down difference. a little bit. Yeah. Cool. Um, so, what's your favorite CrossFit exercise? Hmm. Um. So many to choose. Yeah. <laughs> so many good ones. Um. I guess. I guess maybe back squats because that's the thing I was the best at for me earliest. Mm -hmm. 
Um, so I've never, never worried about that being a part of a workout or anything. It's never yeah. bothered me. Okay. Maybe an easier question or a harder question. What's your least favorite CrossFit <laughs> movie? Um, probably burpees overall. I mean, really anything that's sort of that quick repetitive up and down, I've always had a problem with. It's one of my weaknesses. So, but burpees are sort of, I guess, the biggest of that because mm -hmm. um, they happen so quickly. Yeah. Cool. And what's your favorite benchmark workout? Do you have a favorite? Um, no, I don't. I don't think I've done them all yet. No. So. Do you prefer hero wads or girl wads in general? Um, I think the hero wads because they're more varied, if I'm remembering them correctly. Mm -hmm. um, so there's, there's like more, they seem to be more challenging. A little um, bit longer. Yeah. More exercising. Yeah. The girls, short, two movements, painful. Yeah. 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 Um, do you have a favorite cheat meal? Or probably, do you have tonight at the Halloween party? Uh, probably, I mean, lately, uh, probably ice cream is the only thing that I, I really cheat with consistently. So. And what's your favorite ice cream? Vanilla. Vanilla? Yeah. yeah. You gotta do better than that, Mike. Vanilla is the, the control. That's how you can tell a good ice cream. You <laughs> taste it's vanilla. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Um, so I know you're a big movie buff. You teach film at Palm Beach State. What's your favorite movie? Uh, my favorite movie is The Rocketeer. The Rocketeer. Yeah. I haven't even seen that movie. Yeah, it's a good movie. It was uh, from the early '90s, but uh, yeah, I always enjoy watching it. Cool. Um, and then I want to talk a little bit about the Superhuman Challenges. I know you participated in at least one with us. What kind of impact did that have on you? in CrossFit and you know, with your body in the gym, outside the gym, what did you experience with those challenges? Um, yeah, I, we did the first one in, in this past January and for before that, even before CrossFit, uh, I pretty much was prim primal in my diet, mm -hmm. so I had paleo plus dairy um, and occasionally some some wheat products, uh, but so I started real strict with paleo in January, and I except for like ice, you know, the occasional ice cream, um, I haven't really stopped since then um, because the changes that I saw were relatively immediate. Like within the first week, I saw how getting rid of the dairy and the extra sugars and any any kind of uh, wheat products, I saw how my body was addicted to those just naturally. And I didn't like the, knowing that that, that that was the case, so I've stayed away from them because of that. And I just feel better. I have less, like, headaches I have throughout the day. Getting rid of the artificial sweeteners is a big thing for that, for me. Um, and I just feel better and, and, like, less worrisome about what I'm eating because I, I sort of know what's in there as opposed to worrying about what might be in there. Yeah, definitely. Um, have you had any setbacks since starting CrossFit? Um, just occasionally like an injury here or there and, and usually it's because I wasn't paying attention to form when I was doing something or I was doing something too quickly. Um, but uh, not nothing nothing too bad. When, uh, when you've experienced stuff like that, what's your approach? You know, what have you had to do to kind of get past it? Um, I try to go anything that's using that specific area or muscle. I try to limit, scale down, or or go to an alternate movement. But I I, I don't want it. I don't ever want to like stop going. So I, I just keep coming. And maybe there's one part of the workout I can't do, and I do something else. Mm -hmm. So that's the way I look at it. Yeah, definitely. I don't want it to keep me away. Cool. Do you have a favorite quote or motto that you live by, or just a favorite mm -hmm. quote that you like? Um, that's hard. Well, I mean, Walt Disney said nothing is impossible, so I guess that's a good one. Yeah. Cool. All right. What what goals are you looking for in the future? What's your number one thing you want to accomplish in the next six months, a year? Um, I'd like to be able to do all RX on the open workouts if that's possible. There's still some things I can't do, so we'll see depending on what those are. Um, so that's probably the biggest one for the next six months. Cool. And what do you love most about CrossFit Palm Beach? 
Uh, the community and the, like the positivity that's here like every day, every class, no matter what time of day. Um, and just the, the sort of camaraderie that I never experienced because I was never involved in sports. So it feels like every class feels like a team sport in that way because everybody's working towards, you know, a goal. Cool. Do you feel like, do you feel like you're an athlete now? Do you feel like you're, this is your sport? I, I kind of do. That's why I sort of focus on it so much. You know, I want to see how far I can go mm -hmm. uh, since I never did that before. So. Cool. And uh, you've been participating in the competitors program that we recently added over the last uh, one to two months. How has it been adapting to that volume or, um, you know, what's your, what's your feedback on that competitors program? I think it's great, and I think it's definitely helped me in in just this short time, like really improve, get more PRs, and and feel better about some of the movements that I wasn't sure about before because it, it gives me a little bit more time to practice on something, depending on what it is. It's improved a, a, a lot of my weaknesses by having that extra work to do, and and it makes me feel better about everything else just like normal CrossFit does. I feel a little bit better because I'm doing all that extra stuff. Cool. And last question, what advice do you have for a person just starting CrossFit or interested in starting? Um, it's, it's fun. You know, it, it's, it's going to be hard, but the best, some of the best things are. And you, you sort of stick with it. Uh, and and it, you will see a difference. And whatever your goals are, they will, they'll happen eventually. Awesome. All right. Thanks, Mike. Congrats. Thank you. Thank you.